Have you ever been in a position or had the desire that you must win an argument? That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. How are you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, let's get into this argument thing because <laughs> people are so determined to win. So what is an argument? It's a difference of opinions, perspectives, experiences, uh, just we don't see eye to eye. And the key is for us to come to an understanding of just that. You know, I always talk about um, there's two things to uh, making a relationship work. One is accepting people as they are. And two is communication. Well, that's what we're talking about here is that communication part. And the reason we're talking about this on Self Love Monday is because this arguing takes place within ourselves on a daily basis. And if you understand what I'm going through here and you practice this with yourself, it becomes very, very easy inside of relationships and you'll eventually get to the point where you don't get, you very rarely get in an argument. And if you do, you know how to handle them. So again, we've talked about what is the argument and the question is why do we need to win it? Uh, for most of us, the bottom line is, as I've always talked about, is purpose. What is the purpose of life? What is the purpose of everything? When we always ask the question, why, 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 we come to the same answer. is because we believe by being, doing, having will make us feel better. So we believe in winning the argument, we will ultimately feel better. That's why we do it. The only challenge is I don't know, I've done it before and, and I don't know if you've experienced it, but where I've gotten in an argument, felt like I won, but I walked away and felt worse. Why? Because maybe I shamed the other person in the process. Maybe I blamed them for my, my feelings or whatever. Um, but the bottom line is when it's all said and done, I didn't feel any better. I actually felt worse. Or in some cases I felt about the same. But the bottom line is my purpose in originally in the argument was to win believing it was going to make me feel better. And it's very rare that you're going to get in an argument and when it's all said and done, you're going to walk away and feel better unless we come to an agreement at the end and we both feel like that it was a compromise or the person came to our way of seeing it, not because they felt forced to, because we came to an agreement. And it feels good. But we don't have to argue in the sense of most people, when they think of arguing, it means we're firing back at each other and we at each other's throat. And sometimes it escalates to that. The goal is to make sure that we never get to that point and keep it in a mellow mode where the argument really just means a difference of perspectives, difference of view. And let's talk it through. So now let's talk about how we can move towards resolving if we do get into this. Um, the first thing is to understand, you guys have heard me talk about the three questions that I learned from Gary Smalley on relationships, where he talks about on a scale of one to 10, where do we want to end up? On a scale of one to 10, where are we now? And on a scale of one to 10, how do we move towards the 10, which normally is going to be where we want to be. Now, how does that <laughs> have anything to do with the argument session? Well, the number one on a scale of one to 10, where do we want it to be? That means what is the goal? What is the objective of our difference of opinion? What are we trying to get to? What are we trying? Where are we trying to end up? What do we, Because in most cases, if we figure that out, we realize we're both trying to get to the same place. We just have a different path that we were trying to take in order to get there. But usually in most cases, we're on the same squad. We just got to recognize that we had a different way of how we were going to get there. So that first one is, what is the goal and objective? What is it that we're trying to do? And then the number two is, where are we at? Which means there's there's things that we're going to agree with. Let's talk about those. The thing, well, we agree on this, we agree on that. Yeah, we agree on this. A lot of times that may resolve the whole, because all of a sudden, maybe the person that was disagreeing, or if that person happened to be you, through the coming to the things we agree about, the things you were disagreeing with, all of a sudden becomes clear that, wow, that didn't even make sense. It's like, what, what, what you know what? And be willing to apologize 
we willing to accept that to take the responsibility that okay um maybe i i i, I had the wrong perspective or however you're going to come across it being humble and we got to learn how to do that but being able to accept that sometimes you don't have the right view or you don't have the right perspective maybe you felt that way before until you got different visions different ways of seeing things and you all of a sudden and that's what beliefs are as we know beliefs are things we've repeated to ourselves over and over till they became a belief it doesn't mean it's right and if we get enough information to help us see that that belief is not accurate we got to be willing to accept that and be willing to change that's called maturity and then we talked about the third one once we figure out the differences I mean, where we're at, because a lot of times we're going to say, then we can look at the difference and go, okay, but this is because we may be arguing like crazy and realize that out of the five topics that we're disagreeing on, four of them were actually in agreement, only one. And that's the one we need to be discussing after we've talked about the four that we're in total agreement. Because if we do the ones that we're in agreement with, we realize something we should have been figuring out before, and that's that we're on the same squad. We're in the same team. We're trying to get to the same ending, which is why I said that first one, what is the, the goal and objective? And then the second one, like we said, is where we're at, which is now we can figure out that difference and be like, okay, now that we've discussed where we're in agreement with, so how do we address this particular difference? And then that's, that's which is actually question number three, which is how do we get there? And that's the difference. How do we get to the this difference where we can get this to where because it's the roadblock that we have right now the probably the only spot that we're in a disagreement with and we might realize it's not even that big once we get the other stuff out of the way we just go oh shoot we on the same page it's like man we we and a lot of times you're ready to argue over something that was not even important and the reason i'm saying this is so important to recognize it's because a lot of times we argue over stuff and then, and you guys have probably experienced, I know I have, where later you're like, what was we even arguing about? Because most of the time, the things that you argue over wasn't really that important. It's back to what I said originally. You were so busy trying to, to, uh, to be right or believe what you was going to feel better, that that's what you got caught in versus figuring out what's the objective and moving towards that. So here's some things to keep in mind during this process. Number one, make sure, and we've talked about this before, is make sure you have a safe place, which means it's a place that the person can come and open up and share their perspectives. That's the only way we're going to be able to, to actually have this conversation with the, the, the areas that we agree on and get to that difference so that we can actually have a conversation is if it's a safe place. If it's not a safe place, then people start to shut down and they're not going to actually share. Um, secondly, we want to make sure that during this process is that if it starts to get heated, whoever recognizes that the other person is getting upset or if it's you, that you take a pause, you stop. OK, and, and a pause. You guys have heard me talk about that also before. That's the difference between us and animals. Animals live in a stimulus uh, response world, which means something happens, they just automatically respond. Unfortunately, we as human beings have a tendency to live in that kind of environment, and that's usually what happens in arguments. Someone says something, that's that stimulus, and you just respond. Be careful, because sometimes you get triggered, and you take something they said in the wrong way, you respond, and you say something that triggers something in them now that makes them respond. And now you guys aren't even on topic. You guys are taking shots at each other and trying to hurt each other. And that's never a good thing. But recognize that if you're starting to feel a certain way, which is uncomfortable, are you recognizing them? That's the beauty of being a human being. Pause. Stop. Breathe. You don't have to talk the whole, I mean, and folks, I am really guilty of this because you guys know <laughs> that's my personality. I can, I, I, can, I can get on a roll. I can talk, but it's learning the best communication skill. I talked about that the other day. It's listening. If we learn to truly listen, most arguments disappear because you really hear where another person is coming from. And it makes the conversation a lot easier. So, but anyway, make sure you take the pause if necessary, if you feel that it is what's taking place in your relationship. And the pause could mean, let's continue this in the next half an hour, hour. Um, you know what? 
I need to just go outside and cool off for a little while. I just need to go in another room and let me sit. But, you know, we're going to get back and we're going to finish this. Uh, don't leave that to the person thinking that you just walked out because uh, that will create chaos in your relationship. If a person feels like you just stormed out of the room and make sure if you're a couple, and I've talked about this once before too, that if you're a person that screams and they tell you, if you scream, I'm leaving. <laughs> so you screamed and they left. We got some issues. You quit screaming so they don't have to leave. Let's get good at noticing that it is getting kind of heated. Take that time to pause. And if you're a person that you do need to maybe say, you know what, let me go in the other room for, you know, 10, 15 minutes and we'll come back and we'll finish this because I just need a chance to, you know, let this go on in my head. But my thing is, truly, if you recognize the objective as I started off with is that we're on the same squad. We're in this together, folks. Most of these quote unquote arguments that take place, they'll be diffused from the start and we'll be able to talk to each other because that's what I was actually going to say with as as closing tips. And, and the number one of that is kind of what I'm talking about now is recognizing you're on the same team, recognizing we're in this together. Even if you're not a partnership, recognizing on the same team means the goal is the end goal is the same that we have something we're trying to get accomplished. I remember hearing um, Tony Robbins shared the story and, uh, that he was saying it was Ronald Reagan and uh, Gorbachev, I guess. They were kind of in a meeting and they were kind of going at it because each one thought the other one was evil and kind of what we're talking about here, that they're against you and, and they're trying to tear you down or whatever the case may be. But bottom line is the two of them weren't seeing eye to eye. And they said what turned it around, he said when he asked Gorbachev, what turned everything around, the two world leaders, to keep them from fighting each other, is Ronald Reagan basically paused and said, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's start again. And he reached out his hand and he says, my name is Ronald Reagan. And basically said, let's basically, let's get on the same squad. Let's start over. And sometimes that's all you got to do for people to just go, Whoa, hold up. And again, the major reason that I'm talking about this is because you need to do this with yourself. Real, I hope you on your team. As I've said before, you need to be your number one cheerleader. And when you catch this on yourself and you're beating yourself down and you're done, stop doing kind of the same things that I'm talking about because it holds true. Pause. What is the goal? What is the objective? Where am I at now? And how do I get there? So it's not just in outside relationships. It's most important about the relationship with yourself. Because again, folks, again, as I always keep saying, if you get good at this stuff with yourself, it becomes a lot easier to do it with other people. And then the second thing, aside from, you know, like I said, uh, recognizing we're on the same team, is realizing you don't have to be right. Whew. That one for me was a tough one. I've shared that before that I had a family member that um, that's actually how I came up with my motto. Um, we would argue because this person is a person. If you say red, they say blue. You say blue, they say red. It's just that's just the way they like to be. They now they've shared with me their thing is they always want to see the other side of stuff. And if that works for them, cool. And that's their their uh, explanation for it. But for me, I just have a challenge when every time you say something, someone that's going to automatically take the other side, uh, even if some of the things that they're even in agreement with you, and you know, they agree with you, but they take the other side just because. And it's like now if we're just trying to have a conversation where we're trying to look at all angles, you guys get me where we're like, OK, what are all the different possibilities? I'm with you. That kind of personality would be awesome because they're going to throw all the stuff in there and you go, oh. That's good. You know, I, I didn't think of that one. Okay, well, what else? What else? But not if a person's just disputing, and especially if the stuff that you have, you know, is accurate information, and they're just playing, and they're throwing information that you know is not accurate, and they're just talking. Folks, that does become frustrating. But again, for me, what I had to do, because I was a person that I almost was about to cut out of my life, um, because I was like, that's when I was first starting into self-development stuff, and I was like, Man, you yeah, cut out all negative people. I ain't got to put up with this. And then, um, again, I've read a book that said everything will die or break, depending on what it is. And 
it tells you to practice that so that you can basically come back and appreciate what's in front of you. And so in this particular person's case, um, I, I didn't have anything to do that day. And I was like, well, I can't go by their home because uh, they were out of town. And then I practiced that exercise instantly. Like I was like, what if I could never see them again? And it just was like, whew, hit my heart. And I was like, wow, that would be devastating. Because that person plays such a major role in my life. And so I had to figure out, how can I have a relationship with this person and keep them in my life and cut out all the arguing and disputing kind of what we're talking about here? And that's when I came up with, I recognized that we were, weren't, that in all cases, we weren't ar even arguing over being right or wrong because he just wanted to argue. But what I did is realize we were basically given opinions, perspectives, views. And now you guys probably already know where I'm headed because that's why my model is, it ain't right, it ain't wrong, it's my opinion. Because that's what I recognize. And if you understand these arguments that usually takes place, that's exactly what's going on. People are giving their opinions or you're sharing your opinion and that includes the conversation with yourself and it doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it again wrong. It's an opinion. It's a perspective. It's a view. You just have to figure out, is it moving me to where I, towards where I want, getting me the results that I want or if it's holding me back? And if it's holding me back, then I need to be open to be humble to say, what are some other options? And that's why I said being able to have conversations with people, hear their views, hear their perspectives. That's those differences that we're talking about. And you may come to the conclusion that their view actually works better than the view that you originally had. But you can only figure that out if you separate yourself from wanting to be right and say, I want to get to the end goal of what it is that what it is that we're trying to accomplish. And then the last thing is uh, make sure whatever the argument, the disagreement or whatever, when it's all said and done, that we get it resolved. We come to a compromise. And again, you guys know I always talk about I'm not a person that's into when people say you have to sacrifice. I believe sacrificing is a win-lose scenario. I never want to sacrifice inside of any relationship. Definitely not someone that I have an intimate relationship because I do believe it's called a win-lose situation. And think about it. If you're in a situation where you continue to feel like you're continuing to lose, isn't that the same thing as the arguing, uh, the arguments that we're talking about? And you start to become attached to the fact that I lost that one. Okay, I lost that one. And, and we won't say it, but we just chalked up a point on that one. Okay, I lost. And the next time we get in one and I sacrifice again, it's another check mark on I lost. Folks, think about that. When those check marks start to add up, eventually we got problems in our relationship because no one wants to believe that they're continuing to lose because basically the way they start to feel is that I'm giving up so much for this. Think about it. Some of you have probably said that or have heard your partner say that to you. I've given you so much. I've given up. That's why, because they kept giving those check marks for I lost. That's why I don't believe in sacrificing. I do believe in compromising. Compromising means we need to come up with an objective to when we walk away from this conversation, we both feel like we won and we're better for it because we had the conversation. And if we get it resolved, which we should make sure we do get it resolved, and the reason I'm saying we need to get it resolved is because if you don't, we will be revisiting this conversation again. And again, and again. And how many of you understand that have been through that, where you're having the same conversations that you've had three and four years ago? It's because we never, ever got it resolved. So make sure you get it resolved. So anyway, so with the argument, just like I said, make sure you realize you don't have to be right. Realize we, we're trying to get, to, hopefully, to the same objective. We know we're in the same objective in terms of we're not here to argue and, 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 and when it's all said and done, have, 
our relationship has been dissolved, unless it's a relationship you need to dissolve. But uh, you don't need to argue in order to do that. But uh, <laughs> hopefully you don't have those kind of relationships. You're able to be at peace with them. Even the people that you don't have a relationship with, you don't have to be with any negativities within yourself. Because remember, as I always say, separate people from what they do. I can be at peace with you, but because I disagree with what you do, that we don't actually have a relationship. All right? So as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, for those of you who talk on Relationship Thursday, I'll see you on Thursday. For those of you on Self Love Monday, I'll talk to you next week on uh, um, next Monday. Run over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Check out all the things that I got going on. And as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Recognize the arguments is trying to be right. It's not that important. It's doing what's right. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.